Hello and welcome again. So now we are on page 143, USMLE Step 1, 2021 Microbiology section. I am Dr. Ranjit Sa, uh, an infectious disease expert. So now we are talking about the Legionella pneumophila. This Legionella pneumophila is a bacteria that was that caused the disease that actually caused the disease of your respiratory tract, but developed symptom from three systems. That is the respiratory tract, GI tract, and central lumbar system. So if any scenario that is given to you and they are talking about three system symptoms with disease of your respiratory tract then you have to understand they are talking about the legionella pneumophila actually there was a conference going on in a place where scientists were discussing about uh, there was a conference about this medical scientist were discussing on a conference and all the scientists in that conference got infected with a respiratory disease and they eventually found that it was a bacteria that was Legionella lymophila. They named this bacteria from the place. They found that they all, every scientist, were in get infected because air condition was on, and from the air con condition, the water supply that was the source of water was found. The bacteria source was, was water was found infected, and in that infected source, we found this bacteria Legionella pneumophila. We found the bacteria and named that Legionella, according because of that place, and pneumonia pneumophila because they are causing pneumonia. So. What we are understanding that this Legionella pneumophila, this bacteria, is actually related to water system. Okay. Let me show you. So these are actually a gram-negative rod that is stained poorly on gram stain. So we need another special stain known as the silver stain for the identification of this organism to demonstrate this organism. The in gram stain, if you do in gram stain, there will be a poorly gram stain. Then uh, they can grow on the charcoal cyst tract, that is a special media. They will not grow on the normal media like blood agar, mykanki agar, chocolate agar. They need an extra media, then a special media known as the charcoal yeast extract medium, which contains, which has the enrichment with the iron and cysteine. They are usually detected by, they detected by presence of antigen in the urine. For the identification, we will do the urine test where we will detect the antigen of this bacteria. Labs may show hyponatremia, and since there will be the hyponatremia, the patient will develop the CNS symptom. So, how it get transmitted? The aerosol transmission from the environmental water source habitat, example, air conditioning system, hot water tanks, outbreak associated with the cruise ship, nursing home, hotels. So, no person. So, in the, there will be the like a cluster of people will get infected because uh, that water source is not exposed to one person that is exposed to a group of people so in a cruise ship you can say in a nursing home you can say in a big hotels you can say if the water pipe their biofilm of this bacterial form and that they will release from their bacteria from there and then through water source the people will get infected no person to person transmission so that is very important if i'm getting infected with this leucinella i'm not going to trans transfer to you and because of that, it is safe to treat that patient easily with confidence. Okay. Treatment is macrolides or quinolol. We can treat with the azithromycin group or say uh, quinolol, that is profloxacinin group. Uh, to remember this organism, you can think of French legionnaire soldier with a, his silver helmet sitting around a campfire char charcoal with an iron dagger. He is missing his sister. So, these are the organisms like it is caused the legionnaire disease. So, it has a stain on the silver stain. It needs a growth medium that is the charcoal yeast extract and containing enrichment of the iron and iron and cysteine. So, this is the growth requirement and identification stain, culture, and the disease name. What is legionnaire disease actually? The legionnaire disease is causing the severe pneumonia, often unilateral and lobar. Along with that, they develop fever, GI, and CNS symptoms. So any patient that is developing diarrhea, that is de developing hyponatria and CNS symptoms, they have the pneumonic patches in their lung and fever, then you have to understand that they are talking about the Legionnaire disease. There is another mild disease can be formed. Mild flu-like symptoms can all be present and that is known as the Pontiac fever. This risk factor of developing Legionnaire fever, uh, disease will be in older ages, tobacco smoking and chronic lung disease. Let me <clears throat> explain you this uh, disease. So we can see this uh, Legionella actually is a genus of pathogenic gram-negative bacteria, includes the species Legionella pneumophila causing lesionosis. All illness caused by Legionella include pneumonia type illness, 
called Legionnaire's disease and a mild flu-like illness called Pontiac fever. This is the, the this is the charcoal is extract medium where you see the growth of the organism. Okay, you can see over here. Actually, they are even this is important. Like, let's move to the what are the Legionnaire disease symptoms? There will be the fever and headache. There will be the cough. There will be the loss of appetite, diarrhea, diarrhea and vomiting. There will be the muscle ache. So what are the Legionnaire's disease? Legionnaire's disease is actually cough, shortness of breath, fever, muscle ache, headache, sometimes diarrhea, nausea and confusion. Legionnaire bacteria occurs naturally in the fresh water environment like they are found in the lake, they are found in the steam. It becomes health concern when the bacteria grows and spread in human made building water system. So they are usually resident, they usually present in the natural water system like lake and stream so there is no problem with that but when they come in the contact with our household house made building or water system human made building water system then that's become a problem because in human made water building system they colonize they form the biofilm and from there they release slowly and then cause infection to all those people who get contaminated who get exposed to this man-made human-made building water system where Legionella pneumophila organism is there they have formed the biofilm and now they are causing the infection a serious type of pneumonia caused by the breathing in small droplets of water that contain Legionella bacteria the most likely source of infection are sour heat hot tops air conditioning system plumbing system or decorative fountains so that you have to understand so how this are formed you can see here this is the pipe where this is a human made water system it is maybe in a large buildings you can see this is the water the microorganism forming the uh, biofilm in the pipe wall and this through water system like premises plumbing water system of the hospital even in the hospital in the icu in other uh, places where the air condition is necessary there can there also this outbreak can occur so this can be in the hospital in senior care facilities apartment and official buildings hotels so this through this pipe system there is the biofilm of the organism and they are now spreading they can be spread into the cooling towers hot and spa decorative fountain fountain mesh machine then water parks so these all are the places where this infection can spread and cause the cause the disease now why it is important because you can see up to 50 degrees celsius they can easily survive this organism can easily survive up to 50 degrees Celsius so they can even found in the hot water bath okay they can kill above 70 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius they are killed at 60 degree in two minutes they are killed at 50 degree in two hours but below that they are easily survive and they can present in the water and can you can infect you easily so the what is the mild form, the severe form is known as the Legionnaire's disease, which is affecting the three system, severe pneumonia, with develop the hyponatremia, they will develop the CNS symptoms, and there will be the GI symptoms like diarrhea and vomiting. There will be the small, that uh, mild flu-like illness caused by the Legionella bacteria, which is known as the Pontiac fever. Let's come to the Kaplan book. So in, in our Kaplan, we can see this Legionella pneumophila has a distinguished feature that is stained poorly with the gram stain. We have discussed about this. These are the gram, despite these are the gram negative bacteria, we will is poorly see, see this organism on the gram stain. So we need to do a special stain known as the silver stain. This is the fastidious organism that required iron and cysteine, increased contain of iron and cysteine for the growth, and that is the buffered charcoal is extract medium, BCYE medium, that which contains more iron and cysteine for growth of the organism they are facultative intracellular they can live inside and may come outside reservoir are the river stream mav air conditioning water cooling tanks transmission occur through the aerosol from contaminated air conditioning no human to human transmission is there so you are safe you can easily attend the patient and treat them with the microlates or the ciprofloxacin group Predisposing factor are they are a great smoker is greater than 55, high alcohol intake, immunosuppressed patients, as a renal transplant patient, and pathogenesis, they are facultative intracellular pathogen with endotoxin. 
So in a vineyard, you can see that they are all elderly smoker, habit drinker or immunosuppression exposed to the aerosol of water and this is very important. So any scenario, if they are talking, they are, they are explaining you, if they are giving you a hint, clue that they have been exposed to the aerosol of the water, that may be into the hotels, in the hospital, in the water parks, anywhere, then you have to understand they are talking about this lesional pneumophilia and with symptoms of the respiratory tract, GI tract and CNS hyponatremia. There will be always atypical pneumonia and there will always triad of atypical pneumonia, diarrhea and hyponatremia. So exposure to the aerosol water and triad of atypical pneumonia, diarrhea and hyponatremia, bang, they are talking about lesional pneumophila. Okay. So diseases called Legionnaire's disease, atypical pneumonia associated with air conditioning system now routinely decontaminated. Uh, pneumonia, hyponatremia, mental confusion and diarrhea. So there will be a pneumonia, hyponatremia, mental confusion and diarrhea. And Pontiac fever is a less severe form which has the pneumonitis. There will no fatalities. The diagnosis can be done by the urinary antigen test. There can be also be direct fluorescence antibody test can be done on the biosphere material or positive on the deteriorated silver stain. So silver stain is one of the option. Fourth for increase in the antibody. Treatment will be remain fluoroquinolol that is levofloxacin or microlid azithromycin with rimpampicin. Drug must penetrate the human cell. Prevention is routine decontamination of the air condition cooling tanks. So this is not so hard any organism they are talking about uh, <clears throat> the exposure of a person to the water uh, system and they are housing, uh, causing the triad of the symptoms like uh, pneumonia then mental confusion hyponatremia diarrhea and vomiting you have to understand this is they are talking about the Legionnaire's disease and that's easy to understand easy to crack that question okay so we have done with this our our so we have done with this uh, Legionella. Now there is a small thing that have, we have left and that was the Brucella. So like Legionella, Brucella are also common and they use cause the, they are also responsible for the undulate fever. So they are, uh, they are usually occurs when we eat the uncooked dairy product. So there will be a pasteur, not pasteurized milk or some you are taking uh, cattle meat without proper cooking then you will get this brucella infection. So they are gram negative aerobic cocoa based like transmitted by ingestion of contaminated animal product example unpasteurized milk survive in the macrophage in the reticulendothelial system they can survive easily inside our reticulendothelial system and cause non caseating granuloma. So they will causing granulomatous disease but they are non caseating typically present with undulating fever, night sweat and arthalgia. So there will be a, a person they will present with your mainly sacroiliatics or say joint pain then they are they are complaining of a fever, undulant fever that's fever for five days then there is a lack of a, a febrile period then there, there is again fever. So this is the and the people are very developing drenching sweat, night sweat. So you have to understand they are talking about this Brucella infection. So how we can understand a patient who has been exposed to the this contaminated animal product example unpasteurized uh, that unpasteurized milk or um, they say meat product from the cattle then they are talking about the symptoms like undulant fever drenching night sweat so the people de develop sweating and also joint pain if they are talking about this three thing with the animal exposure or animal product exposure we have to think of brucella and they need a uh, treatment with combination of antibiotic like doxycycline plus reformation of streptomycin. In this way, we can actually crack the question of Brucella as well as Legionella. These two are the very important bug actually. They are causing the infection. You will see the infection. They are not very much common disease, but if you will see this infection in your life many times, and you have to deal the patient as well as deal the question on your interest exam.